deep down, I knew, I knew that what we've been experiencing these last nine, 10 months in real estate was on its way. Um, the, the amazing times that we had been experiencing weren't going to last. And so I just, I always knew in the back of my mind, okay, my methodology, my way of doing the business is going to become valuable again as the great exodus of real estate has, we've been predicting for a long time, but it hasn't happened up until this point. And now the great exodus of real estate is happening. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm John Darden, and you're listening to the Elite Realtor Experience, a podcast dedicated to agents ready to take the next step in becoming elite. It has been over a year since I uttered that phrase. We we uh, we recorded the last episode, the final episode, a little over a year ago, and I have taken a year off on the podcast. I've taken almost a year and a half off on content in general outside of the podcast from real estate, from the training, coaching side of things for a variety of reasons. Quite frankly, real estate just got so easy that my methodology and my way of doing the business and and my teaching and my push and training and coaching just kind of seemed to be something that the way the business was going was not something that anybody was interested in anymore, just to be quite frank. And so, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I was not going to change my message in the way that I did business and the way that I wanted to teach doing the business just to reflect what people wanted to hear at the time. And at the same time, I, I knew that putting stuff out that nobody cared about is pointless. So I wasn't going to keep putting stuff out that I knew a lot of folks, you know, on the real estate side just weren't going to listen to and weren't going to ascribe to and weren't going to believe and try. And that's not a knock on realtors. That's not like that, that. That's just the way the market was. And so when you're no longer valuable, either you change your message, you change your methodology or you walk away. And, you know, deep down, I knew, I knew that what we've been experiencing these last nine, 10 months in real estate was on its way. Um, the, the amazing times that we had been experiencing weren't going to last. And so I, just, I always knew in the back of my mind, okay, my methodology, my way of doing the business is going to become valuable again as the great exodus of real estate has, we've been predicting for a long time, but it hasn't happened up until this point. And now the great exodus of real estate is happening. So I say, I have to say like, my methodology of doing real estate and becoming a successful realtor and a successful real estate professional didn't die during COVID when everything was just going nutso, buck nutty, insane. Everybody was paying 20, 25% over market value and, and appraisal waivers out the wazoo. And uh, I mean, you didn't have to lead gen. Like you just woke up and you found ready, willing, able buyers and sellers and you didn't have to price homes correctly. You didn't have to get them staged properly. You didn't have to walk through six steps of listing a home. You didn't have to do a good buyer interview. You didn't have to do any of that stuff. You really didn't have to try. Like you just had to exist as a real estate professional and let people know you were a realtor and you become successful. And, and that's not, that's not the case anymore. You know this, I know this. Real estate has changed significantly over the last 12 months. And so I, I found myself re-engaging in the kinds of conversations that I had had, you know, their years before that when I was putting out a lot of content and I've never tried to sell anybody on anything. I've never really had anything to sell other than just trying to be helpful for people. And, you know, I'm, I'm having the conversations again that I used to have uh, people asking me the questions that they used to ask me and, and diving back into I want to say the old way of doing real estate because it, it's not an, like I'm, I don't ascribe to an old way of doing business. I just ascribe to a more systematic, methodical approach to the business. And that's not the sexiest way to do it, right? Like we just want to post on our brand and become influential and then everybody starts reaching out to us. And, and that works for some people, but that does not work for 95% of you. And so you have to be a little bit more systematic in your approach to the business and how you're going to become successful. And 
that just wasn't wanted or necessary or needed over the last really two to two and a half years. But it, it is necessary again as rates have gone from two and a half to, as I checked this morning, seven and a half percent interest rates as of this morning on a 20 percent down conventional seven and a half percent. It's just tougher. It is reminiscent of when I first got started. I started real estate back in 2009, right during the Great Recession. Worst uh, economic climate we've had since the Great Depression. And it's, obviously, it's not that bad. And it's not anywhere near as challenging to sell real estate today as it was then. But there are flashes of it, and it's reminiscent of it. And so I said to say, I cut my teeth on a horrible time to try to become a successful real estate professional. And I walked the roller coaster just like everybody else does. I I was rich and I was poor and I was rich and I was poor and I loved it and I hated it. And I was the greatest realtor ever and I was the dumbest realtor ever. And this was the career for me. And oh my gosh, I need to get out and do, do something else. Like all those ups and downs I traversed just like everybody else does. But I learned a lot uh, over my, this is my 15th year of real estate. And I, I think there's a lot of things that, I don't have special knowledge. I don't have special experience that other people don't have. I think I just have the ability to compile it in a way that can make sense and can communicate it to people. And whether you do anything with it or not is up to you. And if if you have the um, courage and tenacity and consistency and stick to and grit to do it over and 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 over for months and months and months and months and years and years and years, then you will eventually become successful and you will build a brand and you will become influential and you will become known in your community and you will be the go-to person for your SOI and for the SOI of your SOI where referrals come from and all of the things. So that's a really long setup to explain why I decided to pick this podcast back up because the intent was to never to like just just kill it end it be done with it move on you know I had gone from several thousand listeners on each podcast to that dwindled down to several hundred and you know it was just at the time it was obvious like hey if you're not again if you're not valuable anymore then you're not valuable anymore so don't don't try to keep forcing content down people that nobody wants to consume. And uh, it's not that I didn't believe in my method. It's just that I knew at the time, you all, not that you didn't believe in it, but you had just learned over the year and a half to two years before that, that you didn't have to do all the things that I was saying that you had to do to become successful. And at the time you didn't. And the reality now, the harsh reality that many of you are facing is you do have to do those things again. And what we walked through was an anomaly that probably none of us will ever experience in our real estate careers again. That's not a bad thing. Um, I think there were a lot of people who made a lot of money in real estate that didn't deserve to make a lot of money in real estate. Let's just be honest. Like they didn't know what they're doing. They were a nightmare to work with. They put their clients in really bad positions. They had their people way overpay for homes. So the consumer got linked up with people that didn't know what they were doing, but you know they, they those realtors were making a lot of money and, and a lot of those folks are no longer in the business or they are a foot and a half out the door and uh, looking for something else because they made a lot of money and they spent a lot of money and they didn't really learn how to actually build a long-term, strong, foundational business built on uh, integrity and built on those old school words, being a guide for people and being knowledgeable and taking real estate as seriously as a brain surgeon takes brain surgery and being able to go hunt and lead gin on their own and being able to handle objections and being able to work on routines and work on actual schedules. Like all of those things that, that we didn't have to do for two years the people that got in during that time, and maybe some of you developed these bad habits, maybe you were a successful realtor before, and because of, you know, during the, the, the towards the, you know, the middle and end of COVID, real estate was so wildly, insanely amazing, you, you lost those good habits, 
you know, so many of those people are out and so many of you are struggling right now because you forgot what it takes to become really, really successful and thrive in this business. And so that's why I'm back because I, I've had many, many conversations with so many of you really over the last three months asking me the questions that I used to answer all the time and that I used to discuss all the time. And so it's become really obvious to me that uh, we, we need to rally around each other again and we need to create that community again of people who are, are doing the business the right way, that are pushing themselves, that are not working based on how they feel, but they're working off of, off of time block schedules and they are very habitual and they're very disciplined and they know what to say and they know who to reach out to and they know how to respond and they know how many new real estate conversations they need to have each day and they know how many follow-up conversations they need to have every day and they know what they need to be putting out on a branding standpoint and they know who their dream customer is, and they know what their brand message is, and they know what their unique selling proposition is, and they know how to communicate that to people in a way that it's received in in a way that is valuable to their dream customer, and they know how to get out and grind, and they know how to to build their name and build value in their brand and, and give value to their communities so that they will become the trusted person the guide for their dream customer and for their dream customers, friends and sphere and, and become referral based and have multiple legion sources and do all of the things based off a a time block schedule. (sighs) All this stuff, right? Like it gets me fired up to start talking about this stuff again. Like I had kind of lost my passion for the business when it was this, when it was so easy. I know it's weird to say, like you, you'd think you'd be very passionate when things are really easy, but when it's, it's so easy, it was almost like, this kind of sucks. This is kind of boring. Um, like I, I don't, I don't even know what you need from me anymore. I look at my people inside my brokerage and I'm like, damn, I don't, Hey, I'll just be your friend during this time. Like it's good right now. I know it's not going to always be this good. I know at some point I'm going to become valuable again. Uh, but I think we're at that point now and I, I know you feel it. I know you feel the squeeze. I know you feel the stress. I know you feel the anxiety. I mean, here it is. It's, uh, today, I'm recording this on Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day. And the market's just not crazy hot, right? Like we we are, if you've been in the business for any amount of time, you know that right now, this time, this is the wild time for real estate. And rates are high. I mean, they are they are above historically average norms, seven and a half percent on 20% down conventional is not great. Uh, it's not bad. Um, I, I just bought a new home and because I'm a entrepreneur, small business owner, you know, I I own multiple companies. I, it's impossible for me to qualify for traditional mortgage. I just can't do it. Um, I mean, this is the way of the United States of America. Yay. Small businesses. We're going to make life really hard on you. But I, 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 had to close on just a 20% down standard bank loan. And I got a seven and a half percent rate. And I remember thinking, Ooh, seven and a half. But as I wake up today, I'm like, Oh, suddenly I feel really good about that seven and a half percent interest rate. It's just different. It's just different right now. And inventory is creeping back up to normal levels. And we've got lots of approved buyers out there, but people aren't pulling the trigger and so you're showing and you're showing and you're showing and you find people with a perfect home and they won't pull the trigger and, and it's frustrating for you and they check all the boxes and you're doing good buyer interviews and you, you've got a really good process and dang, people just aren't, they're just not, they're just not doing the thing. And so your sellers are mad at you and some of you, shoot, you don't even have any listings. You still are just so buyer heavy. You are, you, you are wasting uh, uh, gallons of gas. That was a hard thing to say. Almost a guzzoline for the Mad Max fans out there. Like you're, you're pounding the pavement and you were showing for hours and hours and hours and it's just not happening. And, and you listing heavy friends, you are like, you're in a great position. It's always, if you want to be in a great position in real estate, you always need to be listing first, but your listings are just sitting and you're scratching your head. And you're like, what the heck is going on? I mean, I, 
I'm getting great feedback and it's staged properly and we even have it priced right. It's just not moving. And there's so many factors going on in that and why, like I'm going to have a, I'm, I'm going to have a podcast just for why the average price point in most of your communities are not moving right now. There's economic factors involved that we need to discuss. There's so many things happening in the market right now. And it's tough and it's challenging. And I know many of you are feeling the anxiety. You're feeling the struggle. You're feeling the stress. You're losing your passion. You're losing your drive. You're losing the grit. You're not feeling good about the business. Well, hey, I'm here with you. Okay. And I don't know what that's worth for you. It may not be worth much at all. But I think what I can say is I've got answers to a lot of these questions. It's going to be up to you whether you execute on the answers and whether you want to continue charging forward in this. I think many of you need to take a really long, hard look in the mirror and decide if this is really what you want to do. Like if real estate is really the thing that you want to build your wealth on and pay your bills with, um, I, I think some of you that got in during COVID, you... I don't know how to say this nicely. Like you just really need to take a strong look inside and decide if, if what you're going to have to do moving forward to maintain that level of success that you had during COVID, if it's worth it to you, or if you just want to bounce on to the next thing that is an easier way to make money, because I'll tell you right now is not going to be easy for a little while to thrive in real estate. Um, and I'm not talking about reducing your commission to still have a high volume. It's not what I'm talking about. I, I think that's a cheap way to look successful. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's really not. It's about the pocketbook. It's about what you're taking home. It's about your integrity as you go client to client. I'm, I'm kind of trying to set the stage for a lot of things that we're going to talk about over the next few months. Because I'm committed to putting one of these out a week like we used to. And, uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to hopefully bring some value to you all again, uh, in the form of answers of how do I succeed in this crazy market? That is not what it was 13, 14, 15 months ago. I'm, I'm trying to tread water. I'm trying to survive. I have ready, willing, able buyers and sellers. Nobody's doing anything right now. Rates are bad, quote, unquote, bad. What do I do? Is this even what I want to do? How do I succeed? How do I thrive? All the things, right? It's just a mental mind F right now for so many of you in the business, whether you've been in it for a year or two years or five or 10 or like me, 15. It's just different right now. And it's it's tough. It's a challenge. I commend you for not giving up. I commend you for staying in it. And I think that for those of you that are willing to go on the journey the way that it needs to be done moving forward, not only will you survive what we're going through right now, but you will thrive through it. And uh, you, you'll you step into the prosperity and, and the success that you want, that you deserve, that you're not entitled to, but you got to go get. But it's going to take something from you that you probably have never really done consistently. And so as I set the stage for where we're going moving forward, I, I want to say thank you to those of you that are going to jump back in with me. I, I know that I'm kind of starting all over again here. You know, you take a year off, you lose your audience. And, and I get it. It's okay. I'm committed to the consistency it's going to take to rebuild what what we had in the elite realtor experience. And I'm excited about that. I, I, it's a reset. And I, I, I look forward to it. I look forward to the challenge, just like I hope you look forward to the challenge of, of doing what it takes to really thrive in this market that we are in. So with that said, um, thank you for jumping back in with me. Thank you for uh, diving into real estate in a way that I think it should be done. Just because I think it's the way it should be done doesn't mean it's right. But what I can tell you is I promise you, if you will employ a lot of the things, I mean, go back to old episodes and just re-listen to those. They're going to rehash a lot of that stuff, but in today's world. Uh, so we'll we'll put the spin on it of what it's like in, in our current market. But I, I appreciate those of you that are going to go on the journey with me. 
Um, I'm here for you. I, I, again, shoot me a DM. Like, let's let's rebuild some of those connections, those conversations that we used to have all the time. Um, and part of my voice cracking. I'm getting over a man cold, but uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll wrap it up there, and I look forward to journeying with you again and and linking back up in your real estate profession with you like uh, we did two, three, four, five, six years ago. 